So I believe I would have liked to have read you this whole book because it's really kind of fun. There's a lot of fun poetry in it. Today I'm going to read you one called About Time, and then we're going to go back and read the whole family section, okay? So this one's called About Time. What a bummer. What a bummer. It's a century until summer, which, when it arrives, will last just half a week before it is past. Honestly, it makes me sick that every, everything that's fun goes quick. Well, if you're in a dentist chair, it's months until you get out of there. A bad day's bad for years and years. A good day starts and then it disappears, much faster than the speed of light. I'm telling you, this is not right. It's time that time got redesigned with pause, fast forward, and rewind. It's kind of fun, isn't it? And it is from this book called What Are You Glad About? What Are You Mad About? Poems by Judith Vorst with art by Lee White and it is published by Caitlin Dewey book Athenium books for young readers that's who it's published by Athenium books for young readers and now we're going to read about the family there's lots of little poems in here about the family so my papa Papa, I bet this is Papa, but they're calling him my Papa. My Papa is Daddy's dad. He tickles and he teases. He makes me sandwiches for lunch. His best are the grilled cheeses. My Papa helps remind me of my thank yous and my pleases, but I don't need reminders when I'm eating his grilled cheeses. My Papa rides a bicycle and even skis on skeezes, but what he's really champion of is grilling his grilled cheeses. My papa snores ferocious snores and sneezes mighty sneezes, but nothing shakes and nothing breaks when he makes his grilled cheeses. My papa doesn't hear too well. Well, he's achy in his kneeses, but he's completely perfect when he's grilling his grilled cheeses. My papa's traveled everywhere. He sailed the seven seas, but I think he likes staying home to make me his grilled cheeses. When I get to be president, I'll banish prunes and peases and name my papa the head of the Department of Grilled Cheeses. Oh, there's a fun one. Why cats are better than my older sister. They never tell you what to do. They never ever yell at you. They don't think that they're always right. They're prettier there to look at, too. They do not mind a messy room. They aren't stinky with perfume. And when they fight, they friendly fight, more like a pat than a kaboom. They don't act like a year-round Grinch. They don't when no one's looking pinch or chase you from their bed at night or say you haven't grown an inch. They do not always think they're queen. They wouldn't be on purpose mean or want you out, out of their sight. And though they're clean, they're not too clean. I'd never want to tell them scat. I've got a secret wish. It's how someday, some way, somehow, I might exchange my sister for a cat. What I want to know about my dad. My dad comes home from work, hangs up his jacket, checks his mail, takes out a bowl and opens up a can. He's eating all alone tonight. Here's what I want to know. Is he a happy or a lonely man? The rest of us have gone away. We're driving to Montclair to pay a little visit to mom's mom. My dad's left in this empty house. Here's what I want to know. Does he enjoy or does he hate the calm? My dad goes up the stairs, clicks on the clicker for TV, takes off his clothes and flops on the bed. He's sleeping in it by himself. Here's what I want to know. Does he wish all of us were there instead? The house is dark and locked up tight. My dad is snoring now and having dreams, but pleasant dreams or grim. He's always watching over us. Here's what I want to know. Is anybody watching over him? Bossy mom, I can't ride my bike to the far side of town. My mom says I'm bound to get lost. 
There are places she won't let me walk because of the dangerous streets to be crossed. She treats me as if I'm still in first grade and expect all the rules she has made are obeyed. Though there's 10 million rules that I swear she has made, I am so bossed. I can't go to bed till I've washed and I've brushed and she even makes sure that I've flossed. And whatever I've worn, I'm supposed to pick up and not leave on the floor where it's tossed. No matter how long and how loud I complain that she's ruining my life, that she's causing me pain, that she's going to drive me completely insane, I get bossed. In winter, I have to wear Eskimo clothes so I don't catch a chill from the frost. And she tells me I can't have my ears pierced, although I could save up and pay what it cost. She promises someday when I'm finally grown, I will get to be the boss and make the rules of my own. But meanwhile, I can't even stay home alone. I'm still bossed. I'm still getting bossed. I am so bossed. <laughs> yeah, she's just taking care of you. New brother. How come they ever thought that I would want to have a brother? I have a gerbil, two nice fish, a father and a mother, and all the toys belong to me. And so did all the kisses. So just in case they're wondering, I want to say that this is turning out to be a bad idea. It'll get better, I promise. My grandma. Some grandmas sew your buttons on. Some bake you oatmeal cookies. Some have gray hair. My grandma dyes hers red. Kids' movies leave her snoring, and she finds all board games boring, and she's not someone you would ask to pull your sled. Some grandmas come to swimming meets and clap at your recitals and go with you to playgrounds. Mine won't play. She'd rather take karate than a grandchild to a potty. And a trip to Disneyland? Uh-uh, no way. Some grandmas live in houses, and some grandmas live in condos. Some grandmas live with grandpas. Mine does not. She's got a boyfriend, Jerry, and she says to call him Jerry, and she hangs out with this Jerry a whole lot. Some grandmas teach you lessons, and some make you tasty dinners. Mine orders in. It's best that she doesn't cook. She'll never knit a sweater, but I love her much, much better than any grandma in a storybook. More about my papa. My papa's name is Milton, and when he was just a kid, he asked his friends to call him Ace, but nobody ever did. The other kids had nicknames, and he thought Ace sounded cool, but he kept being Milton everywhere he went to school. Just call me Ace, he told the kids on the playground and in parks, but even though their names were Duke and Doobie and Rex and Sparks, they wouldn't call him Ace. He tried till he was way past ten and understood they never would, and he never tried again. My papa's kind of old now. He's got wrinkles on his face, and I'm thinking that tomorrow I will start to call him Ace. All right. That was awesome. Okay, bye.